Surge Protective Device is an electrical appliance designed to protect circuits and associated facilities from damages caused by transient overvoltages and spikes. There are three main types of SPD, Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. Different types of SPDs provide protection at various levels in an electrical installation. The table below mainly compares the differences between Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3 SPD in terms of waveform, energy handling, and installation position. Type 1 SPD is installed at the main service entrance of an electrical system and is designed to handle high energy surges from direct lightning strikes, providing protection against severe transient events for equipment and circuits within the system. A waveform refers to the specific shape and characteristics of the transient voltage or current surge that the SPD is designed to withstand. Different types of SPDs are tested and rated against different waveform standards, which represent different types of potential surges 10 over 350 microseconds waveform type 1 SPD features a rise time of 10 microseconds and a more protracted duration of 350 microseconds. The waveform is employed in defining the ratings of type 1 SPDs, specialized devices crafted to protect against direct lightning strikes. Type 1 SPD categorized as Class B efficiently handles the highest surge currents originating from direct lightning strikes or intense high energy events with an energy handling capacity of IMP. 10 over 350 microseconds, 25 kiloamperes to 100 kiloamperes. Type 1, surge protective devices are installed at the main electrical panel or service entrance to protect against high energy surges from external sources like lightning strikes. Ideal for high risk areas, they can be installed without an external overcurrent device. Type 2 SPD is typically installed downstream from Type 1, such as in sub-distribution or distribution panels, and provides protection against residual surges and lower energy transients like internal switching events, working in coordination with Type 1 SPDs. 8 20th microsecond waveform, Type 2 SPD. This waveform exhibits a rapid rise time of 8 microseconds and a relatively extended duration of 20 microseconds. It is a standard for defining the ratings of Type 2 SPDs. The devices are engineered to protect against fast-rising, high-current surges that may arise from activities like switching operations or nearby lightning strikes. Type 2, SPD classified as Class C, addresses medium-sized surges more common than Type 1 but still potent enough to damage electronics, with an energy handling capacity ranging from N and IMAX, 8 to 20 microseconds, 20 kiloamperes to 75 kiloamperes. Type 2 SPDs are installed at sub-panels or branch circuits to protect against localized surges and moderate to high energy transients. Positioned on the load side, they provide a secondary layer of defense for sensitive equipment and are used in sub-distribution boards or main panels when Type 1 SPDs aren't required. Type 3 SPD is installed at the point of use, such as outlets or device-level terminals, providing precise and localized protection for sensitive electronic equipment like TVs, PCs, and meters against low-energy surges that, while relatively minor, can still cause damage to specific devices. For protection of signal or data lines, the 1.2-50 microseconds waveform is indispensable. Characterized by an extremely fast rise time of 1.2 microseconds and a brief duration of 50 microseconds, this waveform is utilized in defining the ratings of SPDs designed for safeguarding signal and data lines. Signal and data lines are highly sensitive to rapid voltage changes, and this waveform simulates a very fast-rising, lower current surge often encountered in these applications. Type 3, 
SPD classified as Class D, specializes in handling the smallest surges from switching transients within the building's electrical system, operating with an energy handling capacity of UOC 1.2-50 microseconds, 6 kV to 20 kV. Type 3 SPDs are typically installed at the point of use, such as outlets, power strips, or terminal connections near sensitive electronic equipment like TVs, computers, and meters, providing precise endpoint surge protection. They are usually used in combination with Type 1 and Type 2 SPDs to form a complete three-stage protection system, effectively intercepting residual low-energy surges. Why use cascading surge protection? Type 1, Type 2, and or Type 3? Using a cascading surge protection strategy with Type 1, Type 2, and or Type 3, SPDs provides layered defense for electrical systems. Type 1 SPDs absorb high energy lightning surges at the service entrance, while Type 2 SPDs handle remaining or internally generated transients at the distribution level. Together, they enhance system reliability by distributing surge energy across multiple levels, reducing risks to sensitive electronics, and extending the lifespan of each SPD. LSP Reliability in Surge Protection